Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It's not even not even 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I feel like I gotta talk quiet, even though there's nobody in this house. Okay. As I was sitting here looking through all my usual um, notes, my different websites, I go to every news magazine. I checked all the, I check all the all the conservative news magazines. I check all the liberal news magazines, everybody, to see who's talking about what. But something interesting happened while I was doing this. I leave the TV on in the background. I'm a person that needs a lot of input. I'll read, I'll watch a movie, I'll have music on all at the same time. People think I'm insane and I don't know. But All right, so I have the TV on. And usually I have uh, ABC Overnight News or CBS Overnight News playing in the background. As I'm looking through the news on my, my phone or my computer, my laptop, uh, checking all the news. But on Saturday night or going to Sunday morning, there is no overnight news, okay? Follow me here. There's a lot of commercials overnight, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. here Eastern Time on the, on the, on the East Coast. Uh, there's no news, so there's nothing but infomercials, okay? And it started with my, my, my uh, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> I was going to say my enemy. I don't want to. I don't want to paint it like that. Uh, somebody I don't have a whole lot of uh, respect for, Mike Lindell, uh, fellow recovery addict. That's about all we have in common. Okay, so as I watched him talk, uh, I, I, I I've talked about this before. His uh, crucifix on display. I, I was I was confirmed a, a uh, Roman Catholic confirmed and everything but honestly I I'm disgusted I'm disgusted by the way he puts it on display as he's hawking uh, his wares and he puts his uh, his his Christ on the cross on display as if using Christ on the cross to, to vouch that he's a good person and you should buy his products that's what I get out of it that's sincerely what I get out of it because you could see the, the top button is, is undone, and he always, always has his cross up, the chain up and over and out, hanging out, as he hawks his wares. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not all very well read in Bible verses, but I do remember uh, the story of Jesus flipping over tables, the, the merchants in the, in the uh, church, uh, uh, in uh, God's building. Uh, hawking their wares and Jesus being very upset about that. And I see good old Mike Lindell, the good Christian, using Christ on the cross to uh, vouch that he's a good guy and you should buy his pillows. Wow. All right, but that's not even the story. That's not even the story. As I watch this, the people on the screen now, I'm, I'm part Native American and, and Na uh, Canadian French. Okay. Um, and even the, the people on the screen, I noticed, didn't look like me even. Uh, they were all blonde, blue-eyed mostly. And then I started to realize there wasn't one Asian American. There wasn't one Spanish, Hispanic American. And there certainly wasn't one single African American. And as the show went on, he had people talking about his products. And as the show went on, he had different couples come on stage. And they were all... They were all cookie cutter uh what they, they were cookie cutter trump supporters gray hair white european descent uh blue-eyed every every single one the, the couples coming on then i look at the audience the whole entire audience not one not one they're they're all they're all 50s 60s maybe 70s european descent white, blue-eyed, maybe, there might be a few brown eyes in there, but that's as, that's as far as they went, boy. And I see the American flag blowing in the background, made in America. Hmm. You know, but it doesn't seem to represent America. Not, you know, not as I know it. We're a diverse country. We are. You know, and I start to think about this. You know, as the rest of us, Native American, African-American, Hispanic-American, as we look at this, 
and we see the flag representing these people, you kind of feel ostracized, like you're not part of this country. That's it. And I'm, not, I'm only half Native American, and that's how I feel. And I started to think, how, how do African American people feel when they see this? And I kept watching. And uh, next, next was uh, another. So I looked at other infomercials. And there was one where there was a guy from, uh, that was hawking his wares. And, they were, and, and all these guys that were good American startup people, you know, from scratch. I started from scratch and made my own company. Now I'm CEO. And they were all about in their, you know, early 60s. Lily white, blue eyes. And they all, and then they, they show where they're making their products. And this one was hawking his wares from New Zealand uh, shells that made these anti-inflammatory uh, pills. Of course, they're not FDA regulated, but they're super pills that, that cure everything from pain to, to hair loss, to impotency, to, you know. No, he didn't say all that. But, uh, you know, supposedly they have 30 years of scientific study. I think everything on this earth, here, let's see. This has, this has 30 years of scientific study. All right. You know, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. But then, okay, so again, I'm watching the color of the people. And again, I see that American flag, even though he's talking about New Zealand, where he gets his product, his raw product, the American flag glowing in the background. And Mike, like I I, I forgot to mention, Mike Lindell shows his factory, people on forklifts, all white, everybody in white, lily white. From one end of the factory to the other, one end of the audience to the other, same age, same demographic, and the American flag blown in the background. Uh, you know, the, it has like a, a faded, you know, so it's in the background, the American flag waving. You know, but it doesn't seem to represent everybody. You know, how do, how is, you know, the rest of us, when we see that flag, but we're not represented. And... It went on and on. Then we were at the Mall of America and we're looking at uh, heel inserts for shoes. The Mall of America. Let's see, that's in, I'm not exactly sure. Minnesota? Is it, is it Minnesota? I, I'm, be, I'm being honest. I'm not exactly sure where that is. I'm all the way out here, 2,000 miles away on the East Coast. So I think it's in Minnesota. But I'm willing to bet that state is pretty, uh, percentage-wise, it's one demographic. And sure enough... In that commercial, it's one color after the, you know, same demographic. You know, people, I'll buy your product, you know, and they're all the same. They're all the same. And again, the American flag blowing in the background. And I start to think about this. And this went on and on. Five, six, seven commercials. Next, we have a, a, a air-driven uh, oven that sits on the counter. We've all seen those commercials with the food. <laughs> This chubby guy from the 80s uh, that just cooks one, one fat-filled calorie extravaganza after the next. That's, it's going to give you a heart attack before you're 50. These cheese-filled gooey monstrosities. Here, buy my oven and the flag blowing in the background once again. And I start thinking about this. And we have, we have the people taking a knee. All right? And we're so offended because they won't stand for this flag. How dare you insult the American flag? But as, and as those of us who have taken a knee say, it's not about the flag. And we're not, we're not included in America. We're treated differently. And this is to bring just, just a, it's a simple gesture. It's a protest to show, to, to, to bring this into conversation. And now do you see why? Do you see why the flag is included in this? Look at these commercials next time, and you'll see I'm not making this up. Those, that flag's blown in every commercial, and everybody on there is lily white. And you got to think, how, do the rest of, how does the rest of America feel? The other 40% of America? I don't know the exact uh, demographics. You know, I, I'd say... Uh, off the top of my head, Native Americans, maybe 15% of America. African Americans, maybe, what, 35, 40, 45%? Hispanic Americans, Hispanic Americans, maybe the same. Don't yell at me if I get these numbers wrong. But we're a good portion of the country. And yet, we're not represented. We're not, and even worse than that, we're not included. It's like we're not even worthy to buy these products or work in your shop. 
you know, like we don't have the money. Like we're not worthy to lay in a bed where we can get good sleep or, or take these supplements, you know, to, to be pain free. We're not worthy of that. We're not, you know, we're, we're just like, we're subhuman, you know, it, it's not a good feeling. It's really not. And, it, you know, and I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm feeling butthurt. Maybe uh, I'm just a complainer. Maybe I'm a whining, whining snowflake. But just for a second, you know, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, just think about it. Um, think about what you are and think about it. Think about if it was reversed. You know, if America just showed something that wasn't you constantly in all the commercials and all in all the shops and workplaces on TV and if, if people if if everything that came on that screen was wasn't you, except with one exception, there's a channel that I love to watch that has a lot of action movies. I don't know if I, I should mention it on here, um, but it, it's it's it it's it's made for more for an African American audience. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I'll just mention it. It's it begins with a B, ends with an E, and it's like what you do to a ball. I don't know if I could mention it on here. Okay, I, that's the name of the the network, and I love watching it. And it's so segregated because on that one channel, out of 110 other channels, it's all just uh, more, more. No, not all, but it, it, it's it's more for an African American audience. But take a look, take a look at the commercials, and especially with that flag flying, it makes people feel like they're not part of America. And there's no stipulation that says people have to, you know, that, that these corporations have to include this color or that color. I'm not saying that. But next time you complain about somebody taking a knee or disrespecting the flag, think about it. Think about when you show that flag, Make sure you're showing everybody that's represented by that flag so we all feel included. If you want respect from everybody, that's what you got to do. You got to treat everybody equally under that flag. You can't just represent one group of people. All right? You guys have a good Sunday. I'll be back later with another video.